Hey, what's up guys? John Cachoni back here with Earthworks. Another unique design. I'm standing in a creek bed that doubles as a way to get water out of the yard. These neighborhoods like Sawgrass, Marsh Landing Plantation, all are built on uh, what used to be marsh land. So it's hard to get the water out of the yard, as you know. So in this yard, we have a custom uh, drain field underneath the driveway, actually, and a sump pump that turns on and pumps water into this area. And also from the roof lines, uh, pipes that gather at two different points and come to this area also. You, something unique about this garden too is it's Florida friendly. So all the landscaping is geared for the Florida environment and all the birds, wildlife, mother nature, everything you, you name it, we have it here. Some unique plant varieties here that you don't see a lot. Uh, my cool little cryptomerias. I've got some blue podocarpus, some different little Mahoney eye hollies that are neat. They start to bloom this time of year. That little hint of yellow is really pretty. We put two little cool walkways on the side of the house here just for access. Uh, so flagstone, this is really shady. So we did the Mondo. Uh, we've got some, some ferns, uh, the Cliera and things that'll grow in here. The big old tree ferns, which I love. Look at these things. These have grown a lot since we planted them. Um, We've got some topiaries. This is a Japanese garden in a sense. Just put in some border plants, some trees that kind of dot uh, the waterway out there that'll grow up and give us some privacy. This walkway connects to a really cool, what used to be a fire pit, but is now a water feature. Really cool little sphere there. Anytime you can put that, that, that circle, that, that sphere into your landscape, see where I did it there, and then I made the beds round out there to match. And the wall here is round. Anywhere you can create that space in your garden that's round, your circle, uh, your eye sees that circle before anything. Um, so it's a really good vantage point from the house looking out at that. And that's really lit up at night. It's a really nice show point. So even if, if you move into a house that has an existing fire pit like this was, this walkway and these walls were here and there was a fire pit here that the customer really didn't like, didn't utilize, but she loves the water. And anywhere we could put a water feature, she was game for it. So you can really see how we didn't even do a cut in here. We just took the pavers out and did an irregular pattern and then the soft rock inside that. So it really lent itself to something unique. Um, so I thought that turned out really nice. There's a couple migratory birds we saw yesterday that aren't normally here during the season that come to this yard and don't go to any other yards. So that's really neat, I think. That's a cool aspect, just to get Mother Nature in. Uh, something else cool in this yard is the little berms. So a lot of yards are really flat. You know, you live, here they come. Watch out, watch out. A lot of yards are really flat. So we created these little moguls, these little berms. And you can see them kind of raw right now before we had the sod over them. And some old ones we made uh, that we're gonna complete the sod on top. So that just makes a flat area just pop. And I put a light on that at night so it shines and casts those little shadows at night across the ground. It's really a neat, a neat trick. Uh, this water feature takes all the water from the roof too, fills it up, and I channel it down in here into another drainage system that goes out into the main lake out here. So that's another really cool aspect of this. Um, again, in sawgrass with the water, we talked about the sump pump chamber and the driveway up front. The, the dry creek bed that takes the rock out and gets it away from the foundation. Back here, we're doing it with a water feature that takes all the gutter water, gets it out to the main pond, gets it away from the foundation. So it's key in these neighborhoods like this. We transitioned to an edible area. Um, the, the homeowner does that. You can see it's pretty extensive. Uh, I've used a lot of these bigger rocks too here as edging. Again, with the rainfall, the mulch we want to use, it holds all that in place. And I transition there to the walkway to the metal edging. It goes from natural to, to really clean, just right there. I think that's a really neat part. Here I've got a really pretty camellia garden. Things are coming into bloom here. Um, we've got some plants we're going to do here for privacy. This is the homeowner's office, so to screen some of this. This is a really big problem with water over here. This is a low area between the two homes. So you can see some ferns. You can see the same boulder work back there. This is a weeping bald cypress called Cascade Falls. See how I planted it to weep over the walkway? So eventually we'll have like a little corridor that we just trim out that you walk through. I thought that was really neat. So this will grow out and out and out. And the homeowner and I are actually talking about training this out to like give it some hips and almost make it like a little pergola or a little arbor itself as it grows. 
uh, kind of an Asian style of doing things. Oh, the guys did a really nice job incorporating the tree into the walkway here. Uh, we've got about 10 more yards of gravel we're adding to the walkway to, to elevate it. Just with the zero lot line here, it was tough to work. So, I mean, our property line is right here. So that was pretty exciting that we could save this guy and still get um, the access. How I showed you the two different pathways on the either side of the house. This is probably, I think, like the third time we've been in this garden. <laughs> just, just adding to it with new ideas and new plants. And like we're adding a whole new lighting system this time on top of an existing lighting system. The uniqueness of this garden is, is something that can be put into Jacksonville pretty much anywhere. So the garden we just saw, you know, I didn't plant it. You know, I just designed it. These guys, he planted this it is the crew. Mind. This is the, the guys that make it happen it right here. He's yeah. a genius. Yeah, yeah. That southern so. twang will fool you, but your yard will be looking cool. <laughs> <laughs>